Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a chatty get ready with me video because honestly these are some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube and it has been far too long since I've done one of these and I feel like just sitting down and chatting with you guys. It is an overcast day here in LA and I love it. I feel like we have sunshine every day so if we get anything different I'm very into it. I have prepped my skin so far and I'm going to show you guys what makeup I've been loving lately. I don't wear makeup every single day, but when I do wear makeup, this is what I've been doing, just a natural everyday look. So far, I have prepped my skin with a toner and a moisturizer, and oh my goodness, you guys, I'm loving how my skin is feeling lately. I've been loving using this resurfacing toner from Tula. It's called the Get Toned Pro Glycolic 10% resurfacing toner. I have been using it every day and my skin feels so baby soft and it just feels refreshed and I love it. I'll be talking more about Tula in this video. I'm working with them to create this video for you guys. I've talked about them on Soul Sugar Podcast. I've talked about them on Instagram and now I'm telling you guys about them in this video. I'm going to prep my skin with a couple of my favorite products from them. I've talked about this on Instagram before. It is the Tula Skincare Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer and this stuff is amazing because it honestly just blurs out any imperfections that you might see and also helps moisturize your skin and just overall really improves the appearance of your skin so i just look so glowy when i wear this under my makeup and it helps my makeup stay throughout the day i wore this every single day in the cook islands because it was really hot there and my makeup would melt away and then when I put this on I was just like oh okay that fixed it it's just so incredibly nice you'll see that it really makes my foundation look so good some of the things that I love about Tula are one they are a clean skincare brand and you guys know that I have been gravitating towards clean skincare whenever I can and I love that they are cruelty free, so they never test on animals. All of their products are made from superfoods and probiotics, so that is another plus. This is the Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm, and I just kind of run this under my eyes like this. And it's definitely a balm, it's definitely brightening, it's immediately cooling, which I love under my eyes because it just feels like it's really like plumping up my under eyes because if I'm tired, it can feel like my eyes are just like dragging. I know you guys know what I mean. So putting like a cooling effect under my eyes right away like this is so nice. I wear this even when I'm not wearing makeup because it just instantly makes me look more awake. Tula products are made with such beautiful plant-based ingredients that I just love this eye balm is made with a rose water that just instantly energizes and gives you this glow one last thing that i love about this face filter product is that i love using it as the last step in my skincare routine when i'm not even wearing makeup because as you guys can see like it just gives this blur effect and this glow effect to your skin so when you're not wearing foundation that day and you just kind of want to go makeup free if you use this as the last step of your skincare routine it's still so nice and so good for your skin but it also just gives this like blurry glow look to your skin. So it kind of just naturally looks like you're wearing foundation even when you're not. So that's one thing that I absolutely love about this. But today I'm gonna be putting this underneath my foundation. If you guys are interested in checking out some Tula products, I will leave a link for you guys in the description box of this video. If you use the code CARRYRAD, you'll get 15% off of your order. Now I'm going to go in with foundation, but before I do, I'm going to go to your guys' questions on Instagram. At the beginning of the year, I asked you guys to send in some questions just as like a life update, and I didn't answer all of them. So I went back to that Instagram story to answer some more of your questions. So I'm going to chat with you guys, do a little bit of a life update or just a random Q&A while I do my makeup. And let's see if I can multitask all of these things together because I feel like I love seeing people just seamlessly do it. They're like answering questions and doing their makeup and I'm like, wow, how does she multitask her brain so well like that? I don't know if I have that ability, but we're going to try. The first question that I see is what's your zodiac sign and you guys are super into this so I'm going to answer this because I always see your comments like asking about what sign I am. I am a Virgo and Libra rising so I'm a Virgo Libra rising which makes so much sense to me now because I haven't always 
kind of related to the Virgo traits, but the Libra traits I totally can relate to now. And so now I understand how both play together. By the way, I'm using the Vita Lumiere Aqua Chanel, and this has an SPF 15 in it. I don't always use this. I actually go in and out with the Born This Way by Too Faced. This one's a lot less expensive and this one i just have because the color is much better for me right now and also i love how just it doesn't feel cakey and that's what i love about this foundation it feels super soft and light and again i don't wear foundation a ton i'm using a little tiny makeup brush because this is kind of what i love to use for foundation i'm using my viewfinder to put my makeup on which is probably a terrible idea. I don't even have a mirror around me, which I should probably go get a mirror. Okay, I'm using my phone to see what I'm actually doing right now. So yeah, Virgo Libra Rising. Let me know in the comments what you guys know about that whole combination because I love astrology and I love reading about it, but I don't know everything about it. And um, I have an astrology Bible down here in my books on my shelf there. But I don't know everything about it and I think it's so fascinating and I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on what you think about those signs if you know more things. I found out recently that Alex has Virgo rising, which blew my mind because I had no idea. He's Pisces Virgo rising and although Pisces and Virgo are compatible on the charts, people would be like, oh Virgo, you're so like analytical and you're a planner and Pisces, you're such a dreamer and just kind of go with the flow which is true and but then i thought gosh but we're so compatible in those ways because alex is sort of a planner and a doer it just made so much sense to me that alex was a virgo rising and that i'm a libra rising because i think that the libra and Pis pisces can like play more together and then the virgo and the virgo are obviously the exact same sign so <laughs> I, it just like made a lot of sense for me i was like this actually I can, re I can relate to this whole situation, this makes sense. I'm going to go in with eyebrows now. I'm using the Glossier Boy Brow, a brow favorite of many people. And the next question is, are you going to do a video about your compost? And my answer is yes. I plan this year to do videos about my compost, to do videos about the vegetable garden, and I know I have talked about that before. The thing is, is I've always kind of felt like, do people really want to see how I compost and how I do my vegetable garden? Like, I know I love doing that and that I'm passionate about it, but do people actually really care? And I realize now, yes, they do care, and you guys care just as much as I care. Um, it just feels now like like when we compost because we compost every single day it just feels so normal in our life now but i still think it's awesome and i have so much that i can share with you guys i think 2019 was a lot about learning more about growing a vegetable garden and about building the compost because i didn't know how to do those things before i didn't i had never grown vegetables and i ha didn't have a compost in my last place so i definitely want to share with you guys what i learned in 2019 so 2020 i can actually give you guys i can now actually give you guys some like good information that i have learned along the way little note about eyebrows i've been using a castor oil on my eyebrows for about two weeks now just to see if it's helpful in keeping my eyebrows thick because I can tell as I age that they're thinning a little bit. They don't feel like super thin or anything like that, but I can tell that they're not as thick as they once were. So I'm seeing if this castor oil situation will help at all. I've just been putting the castor oil on a cotton swab before I go to sleep at night. And I did some research and also my makeup artist for my wedding told me to try that out. So I have been yeah, trying that out. And honestly, I it, it my eyebrows feel good. I don't feel like they're thinning more or anything. So that's a good thing. And I feel like it's worth a try to see if one, I can just make sure that my eyebrows stay thick. So I'll use it whether it like grows my eyebrows like crazy or not. I like to brush my brows upwards like this to give it like a little bit of a feathered look and just kind of I feel like when they're feathered, they look a bit fuller and I really love a full brow, so that's what I'm doing. 
Okay, I hope that looks okay. It's kind of not the same when you're not looking in a mirror. <laughs> Fun fact about this Tula eye balm, by the way, is that you can use it a little bit as a highlight as well. It is a great little like minimalist packing hack. I used this when we were in the Cook Islands a lot for a highlight because it truly has like a pearl tone to it that works very similar to a highlight but like in a really natural way using my holy grail laneige lip sleeping mask because my lips feel kind of dry and i hate when my lips feel dry when i'm doing my makeup going to do my cheeks now while i answer another one of your questions these are the glossier cloud paint little blush creamy they're wonderful one is in beam and one is in dusk and i like to mix them together the next question that came in or i guess it's more of a request but it's something i want to touch on it says it's super superficial but i would love or i love your style and would like to see more style capsule videos so this is something I've been thinking a lot about lately because I transitioned very much so from beauty style to self-care, self-growth, personal development, and I still love style and beauty a lot, and I also love travel, and travel is something I kind of stuck with and still talk about, but I really shied away from beauty and style. Now I'm sitting here doing a get ready video with you guys, so obviously, I'm dabbling back into kind of what I used to talk about and you know I never fully stopped talking about beauty or style. I definitely still touch on it here and there but I really wanted the focus to shift and it will stay that way because honestly I'm just more passionate about content about personal development and like how to live your best life and all of that good stuff. But Listen, I still love this kind of stuff. So I still love style, I love makeup, I love beauty, like it's part of my everyday life. I still love it so much. And you know, I originally came out to Los Angeles thinking I was gonna work in the fashion industry and you know, that was my original plan. And so it's still something that I'm passionate about. So I definitely have been thinking a lot more lately about dabbling in more with style and specifically on my Instagram I think um obviously I love doing talking about like home decor stuff and I love just like lifestyle content a lot um but I think you guys can really expect from me in 2020 to talk more about style for sure Ooh, that might be too much not a problem just to use the foundation brush a little bit to mix it in and it's fine it's fine this year just feels like I'll be talking about it more, especially just like with the wedding coming up and stuff like that. Like I'm just like more interested in that stuff this year. And that's the point of doing what I do, right? We have ebb and flows of life. We get more interested in some things and I want to be able to talk to you guys about things that I'm passionate about. And I think that I don't need to like put myself in a corner and say that I can't do anything else because I'm focused and passionate about another thing. I think that that's the beauty of having a YouTube channel like this um, and being connected to you guys the way that I am is that I think that you guys are supportive in me talking about things and if I create one video and it's not for you and you're not interested in style that's okay and if I create a video that's more so about like self-care and like habits to live your best life and that's your cup of tea then that's awesome like I know that not everything that I create will be for everyone and that's just that is like life in general not we won't I'm not for everyone and not everything that I do is for everyone style and beauty will still be incorporated I just did a braid into everything that I do and I think this year more than other years you'll see more of it incorporated. For bronzer I'm going to use the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. I love the color of this and I love the packaging. It's so beachy hence Beached Bronzer and I'm using this oddly shaped brush but I feel like it's really nice for bronzer so I'm gonna use that. Ooh, a mirror. <laughs> I should, I've just been using this the whole time. I'm going down my cheekbones like this. And I'm not a makeup artist, so if you guys think the things that I do are absolutely crazy, 
then I'm sorry, but this is just kind of what I do. <laughs> but a lot of people like use bronzer in this area. It's that contour. I don't do a full blown contour situation, but I do like to just put it in the areas that might contour my face a little bit. Curling my lashes. I don't know where I should probably use a mirror for this. <laughs> and I have been using the Thrive Cosmetics. I've talked about this on the podcast too. I love this mascara so much and I've been using it nonstop. I'm not using any eyeshadow. I'm working from home today. I'm doing a super chill look. This is just my honest like everyday makeup look that I put on if I'm like doing anything really. So I just wanted to do something simple for you guys. And yeah, so this mascara, what I love about it is several things. I love that it goes on super nice. It's not clumpy. But my favorite thing about it is that when it comes off, and this might be something that people don't like about it, but I personally love it. It comes off kind of, I want to say clumpy, but that is like the worst thing that you could say about mascara. It comes off in like little, kind of like chunky, almost like the thing is, is it doesn't drip down your face. So when I'm using this and I get out of the shower, I don't look like a terrifying monster that has like black circles, a zombie essentially underneath my eyes. It's like, it, it'll come off in like little pieces and then I just kind of like wipe it. Or obviously if like I take off my makeup before I get into the shower or if I'm just, you know, washing my face, it comes off really nicely and easily. And it just like on a cotton pad or something like that, it'll just like come off onto the cotton pad as more like bunched together as opposed to like, I just poked myself in the eyeball, ow. Um, as opposed to like being drippy liquid mascara black all over my eyes, which I absolutely love about it. And it's just easier to get off. And it also is just so beautiful on my lashes. It dries quickly. So I have to stop talking and like actually do it. I need a sip of water, I'm like dying. <laughs> Life hack on drinking water. If you are anything like me, for some reason, I drink water so much better when I drink it out of a straw. So I got this Camelback on Amazon with the straw and it has honestly been life-changing. I've been drinking so much water because I don't know why, like sipping from a straw makes me want to sip water so much more than drinking it like this. I don't know why, I don't have the answer. Ow, my foot is asleep. I don't have the answer as to why I am this way, but a straw makes me drink water. So if you feel like you might be like me and you wanna drink water more, highly recommend getting a reusable with a straw. Alex said that I'm like a little kid, which is true in many aspects of my life. My camera is starting to die, which is okay because we are almost done. We are on lips. We are going to do this velvet matte lip color from NARS. This is in the color Good Times. And I'm just gonna flush it over my lips like this. Natural velvety matte look. But you know what? I'm gonna make it not matte and I'm gonna put on this Thrive Cosmetics color in Ruth. And it's got a little bit of this like gold glimmer to it. And it's no longer matte, but gives you this gorgeous little gloss look that I love. I am ready. My camera died before, so I charged it while I finished getting ready. But the good thing is, is that I got to show you guys my entire makeup look. So yay, we're happy about that. And now I am just wearing some gold hoops from Madewell. I'm having to slouch down because I'm using my smaller tripod now. So <laughs> I'm sorry, but I am using, yeah, my gold hoops from Madewell. I love these beautiful bad boys. I've been wearing them all the time. This long sleeve shirt that I've been wearing the entire video is from Target. It's so cozy. And then this little Urban Outfitter denim jacket. It's a Sherpa jacket. I have been wanting a Sherpa denim jacket for a very long time now. This is a Levi's original. I'm going to show you guys kind of what's happening here. This is from Urban Outfitters. I found it on there and I've just wanted something like it for a long time. And we're going to the snow this weekend. So I wanted like a nice, cool, casual jacket that I could pair with layers and stuff like that. And then I'm wearing cozy pants underneath. I'm all about the cozy pants because I'm probably only going to my P.O. box today. 
That is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little switch up, little throwback a little bit, because I used to do videos like this more often. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are interested, definitely check out Tula Skincare and use the code CARRYRAD for 15% off. I know you guys will love their products. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you super soon in a new video.